Saving Salila's Turtle, an Environmental Engineering Story. Chapter 1, A Rainy Day Discovery. Rain clouds hung dark overhead as Father and I walked home along the banks of the Ganja Ma, Mother Ganges. The river currents swirled, making choppy waves in the water. Turning to the river, I asked, Are you upset today? Salila, said Father, you talk to the river so often that I think some day the water might actually answer you. Your mother and I named you well. I smiled. My name, Salila, is the Hindi word for water. I've always felt a special connection to the river and to all the plants and animals living in my city. I looked away from the Ganges as a fat raindrop plopped onto the book I was carrying. It was beginning of the monsoon season. The raindrops fell faster, making dark splotches on my school uniform. Come on, Salila, let's hurry, Father said. I turned back to take one last look at the river. In that moment, something caught my eye. Wait, Father, look, I cried as I pointed. What is it? Father asked, scanning the back, the bank of the river. I reached down and picked up a small kachua, a turtle that was climbing out of the water. I placed it in my hand, sheltering the animal from the rain, which was coming down even harder now. Through my wet bangs, I looked at, towards the spot where the turtle had emerged. The water was covered with oil that created slick, shimmering rainbows. Salila, we have to go, Father said as raindrops trickled off his nose. Put the kachua back in the water. I can't leave the turtle here, I cried. The water is dirty. Won't it make the turtle sick? Salila, this is the turtle's home, and it's pouring. Maybe you can come back later, said Father. Let's go. Reluctantly, I left the turtle where I'd found it, making sure I remembered the exact spot so I could return to look for it later. How had I never noticed that my beautiful Ganges important to people and so many animals, was dirty. As the rain poured down around me, all I could think about was coming back to make sure the turtle was safe.